project is presented by myself, Shireen Nusir. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Orthodontics Faculty of Oral and Dental Medicine, FUE. And my advisor is Professor Marwa Mustafa. And the project is about introducing in an aesthetic course for fifth year students. It starts off with a regular lecture, which is the fundamental of dental aesthetics, and the usual manual tracing exercises that the students perform to make sure that they have the idea of aesthetic. The introduction of the project project is the introduction of smile design software training. and the smile design software training goes along uh, two days a full hour that involves myself and some of my junior staff the students are later on uh, given uh, their chance to do their first smile design portfolio which is a full aesthetic dental design project and they upload it on the move within the project it involves a questionnaire for their self-perception of their aesthetic diagnostic skills and as well as a pre-test and a post-test the pre-test just to uh, just to cut it short, I didn't have all the information involved, but I thought I should share it. The pretest involves a, a simple exam where they diagnose the patients with aesthetic uh, problems, dental problems, and they need to diagnose that patient and list the number of aesthetic, unesthetic features that that patient has. They need to get an average of 60% of the unesthetic features that they see. The original plan is actually going forward in quite a good way. We started off in November. I had a need needs assessment for the implementation of digital smile softwares. And it was actually the needs assessment was done on fresh graduates. Uh, we asked them about their perception of their aesthetic skills as fresh graduates, what they think they missed, would they have wanted to have some more further training in aesthetic designing and planning and diagnosis. And they said, yes, general needs assessment uh, came forward with a positive response. I started off with an IRB approval, the aesthetic the ethics approval from our committee. And we formed a project team, which is is uh, myself. I'm the course director for this year and some of my junior staff. All of the junior staff are part of in the continuing education. They do give, they share in the course for aesthetic plan. So actually digital smile designing is available for continuing education. They've had their training before. That was a good point for me to start forward with. And they were even, they even had shared in some of the courses in my continuing education uh, for the department. I started off with the lecture. We started with a small pilot study on some of the students face to face. Uh, we chose 10. It involved different students with different GPAs. And uh, I asked them if the training was enough. Do they think it was actually a focus? Group. Do they think one hour is enough to introduce? How long did they find it hard to download the software on their computers or their tablets? It was a, a small focus group for the starting of the pilot study. And then the smile designing training. It happened for project has been done. Dr. Marwa advised me. I give this project uh, twice per year. Once in for the normal uh, time they get to get, get this course is in fall. But then there's another spring semester where they so smaller number of students, but they still get the same course. So she advised me that I should have two cohorts, one for the regular larger group of students during fall and the other one during the spring semester. We had the regular plan design we had done with the pretest and the post-test. And then the final exam, which has a part of the exam for designing an aesthetic patient, an aesthetic design project during the exam and their results awarded. And we've had the data analysis done for the fall and the statistical analysis, which was kind of hard for the like card case. I, I needed a special statistician, not the regular one we use in our research for dentistry. Statistics to do the data analysis. And then uh, I've had the chance to do the, the spring semester as well, the same project, different cohort, and they finished and were in the data analysis of phase. The changes I've had that although the stu students thought that the time allocated for the training on the use of the software was Efficient. They recommended, and some of my junior staff recommended, that we'd have a video, a recorded video manual to be uploaded on their Moodle. It proved useful when they needed to refer to the to do during their treatment planning. Project. The free versions of the software available to students lack some of the features for the planning. We provided a PowerPoint version of the VR software that helped fill in the gap that wasn't available in the free online versions of the software. The lessons learned, the feedback from the students is important to modify the plan as early as possible. Surveys were placed with notifications on the Moodle to help them remind them to fill in the surveys. Short training periods can be hard on some students. Make sure they have a, a go-to resource to catch up or fill in the gap they might have missed. And make sure the junior staff are willing and capable of the collaboration of the staff during the project is mandatory. Great ideas come from the young, your peers, and the mentors. All equally. Be flexible with your project within the aim you started with.